I'm back. And it was Atlas. So <laughs> he was on the kitchen counter getting into something. Anyway, we need some building blocks. Oof. Nice. <laughs> and let's see what we can do here. I need mana tablets too, guys. And tiny potatoes. Potatoes. Mana tablets, which I'm gonna have to do more um, pearls. Let's go grab some more pearls. <clears throat> Yay for flight, right? Hey for flight. Uh, living off red string components. Yes, you're right. Which we have running now, so that's great. Um, so we'll do that. Still have space, but we're gonna put it in one of our um. Right clicking. Well, that's not helpful. I know it's not full. Oh, it works for not. Uh -huh. Give up. I'm not very patient, can you tell? Not in hot bar. It's finicky. Whoa. It wouldn't it's a quirk feature, isn't it? It wouldn't be a quirk feature if it weren't finicky. <laughs> That's really the way of it. I get to take this down soon. Um, yeah. Okay, so the pool that this needs to be connected to is actually that one. Which will be fine. Because everything comes to this one and then gets goes pushed down there. And so that's the one we need to hook up with stuff around it. Alright, so... We know the corporeal funnel, and we know... I know I can move it, but I'm not gonna bother. I know I can. Yeah. Alright, so... First... We're gonna do... oops. Um, I do I have the picture up? Because it was the res, the retainer was yeah, it was here the funnel. <laughs> oh, I didn't make any um bellows. Bellows I need. Bellows. Yep, yep. Um, that is going to be a, um, why is there a cobble there? Red stone box, sticky piston. I don't remember why there's, oh, cause I have a, okay. Great. Oh, that quirk fe yes, that quirk feature makes me happy. I can place a block under the cobble. Uh-huh. That that does make me very happy, guys. You cannot you have no idea. <laughs> okay, so this comparator goes Oh, yeah, comparator, right? 
Why is it a comparator, actually? It doesn't have to be a comparator, it could just be a repeater. Oh, in mine, it's a comparator. <laughs> in the one that I built, it's a comparator. No idea why. <laughs> okay. Great. And I don't have any item frames in here, do I? Oh, I do. And I think I can put one of these in here because... Oh, it's got some mana. They all have a tiny bit of mana because I've got a... Band of Aura. Yep. Where's my bobble box again? I keep losing that. <sighs> I would like to find it. Because <laughs> I don't know where I put it. Did I lose it in the update, maybe? Which would stink, because I had a bunch of stuff in it, but... Um... You, you still have yours? Okay. I thought it'd be kind of odd to lose, since Batania wasn't updated. It just means I've misplaced it. Not surprisingly. So, hmm... It could be any in any number of chests that I have messed around with. So this is still producing a bunch of cobble and I don't know why it's breaking. The Ender Inventory, good, good point. Yep, there it is. <laughs> in fact, let's just put a band of aura in there. Thank you. All right, back to this. <laughs> All right. Um, so we actually need to take these. Let's take this one that's starting to fill up and empty it. And go from there. Is this set to, yep. Now you're empty and have been used. Okay. I doubt, yeah, I was gonna say, I doubt it go, goes from up there to down here. And then we need to do a hopper into a redstone um, Do I have a block under there? No, of course I don't. So I need to make a redstone container. I don't have... It's droppers, right? It's a chest. I don't, I don't have any chests. Let's, I probably had a couple in there, didn't I? Now I have a bunch more. Once you make one, this shouldn't be as hard, right? <laughs> okay, take care. Thanks for hanging out, Lucid. All right. String assembly halo red string container. Great, and you need to go there, and we'll turn you around. Uh, we'll turn you around when I have something to point you at. I don't have a crate. Below the pool. You're, you're right, it is supposed to go below the pool. 
Oh, see, if I were looking at the image, which I'm not, to be fair, I'm not looking at the image. It needs to go here. Yep. And then the hopper. Can I see it? Did that point the... No, no, it didn't. <sighs> yeah. Clearly. <laughs> not directly below it which makes sense um there you go now i just need to make a open crate with living wood <laughs> planks can you tell I haven't played Minecraft in a few days? I've actually been playing Terraria. Um, it's a new game to me. I've not played any Terraria before. And it's very different. Pete's sake. And it flies into the void. So let's do it again. I prefer, yep, if I were to ask, I prefer Minecraft also, if I were to be asked. Um, so yeah, let's put you in there for now. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. One's plenty. Redstone. What is that for? Okay. And then... So that's the start. We need to get Corporea down here, but we also need a drawer attached to the network with empty tablets in it. And that can be anywhere... Oh, I also need the redstone over there. You're right, I need the redstone block over there. Okay. Alright. That's the start. So in order to make this work, as I was saying, I need a drawer with to put the tablets in. And that does not have to be down here. I also need to bring Corporea down here, but I need to see where it is up here. Right there. Because then it goes up. Yeah, so there's a lot there's a lot of steps we gotta do yet. Yep, the hopper hawk and the drawer full of tablets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I do not have enough wood on me to do that step. Oh, these are all full, which means the underground is probably all starting to back up. Must do it faster. Must get this done faster. Hey, there's an empty tablet in here. We'll take you. I don't remember when I put it in there, but sure. Alright. We need 
start off with, we need two of these. You're true. I have a lot of these to fill. So... We need to fill and then empty. <laughs> But I do not know if they are set to drain. Let's do that. Because I don't know which one it's in. Um, we don't have Corporea up there yet. Our Master Spark is here. Where where do I want to have the drawer with empty tablets down here? So I'll need to initialize any that I put into the system, you know, fill them up and drain them. Well, not fill them up, but have them take on a bit of mana. I could temporarily put it here. Yeah. True. And I don't have any of that right now. <laughs> so... Woo. Now, if we go to somewhere, let's... Let's see any nope let's go over here where I know that there's an empty we'll check you out I know I could just back up but all right you're empty so empty one here. No, empty one down there. Doesn't matter, does it? The hopper hawk down there is going to be picking up full ones. Do I have any more floating hopper hawks? I need to make some floaters and I don't think I have, I have some grass all right did I have any in here no okay let's not forget you let's get some floating hopper hawks I'm pretty darn low on glowstone. And I haven't made a conjuration catalyst yet. I really should. Um... I yes I really should <laughs> I'm watching me use it up here um darn it I was down there I really just need to bring a mana pool up here uh, it's this right do do And are any of these full? This one looks full. Ooh, 
This one will go down here somewhere. Um. Yeah, I'll make 100% sure it's full. Now you should have bound yourself to that one, yes. And the drawer will be next to you with corporeous bark on it. Where did you go? Okay. You're definitely full. But oh, where's my key? Am I? I have a ring. Does it prioritize tablets? That's possible. I really need to make sure this is full, because otherwise it won't, it'll pick up ones that aren't quite full. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Not on the hot bar. Okay. <laughs> None of the rest of these are full, full. All right, so we need to lock this, get corporea down here. We'll get all of these out because we need to get it. might be nice to use this for counting purposes in midair. And we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Are you close? Doesn't look like it. So we need one probably in this area somewhere because we've got this guy and that guy. If we put it here, does he reach? I'm doing a guess. He does. Woohoo. All right. means these guys are set up. But did I put it one too far away up here? <sighs> oh man. Okay. That's the force relay crash, yes. That is the force relay crash that I keep getting. That? That is connected. Okay. <sighs> so. We need to fill that up with empty tablets that have been used. 
and then remove the spark augment down there so that it's not pulling mana out of this. And is that technically set up then? <laughs> I think like think so so we just need to put empty tablets in here which means draining these how quickly where can we do drain these at probably any of these yup probably I think there's one there one there <laughs> We'll let those drain. All right. And you're not going to refill because I don't have my band of aura. How are you doing? Says there are four there. We need to lock the drawers. That's empty. And we should grab this one because this pool's full. And get it here. All right. How are we doing? Are you empty yet? Yes. All right. We have six empty tablets. I would like to recharge you. Are you? Here we go. How are we doing? Okay. Now it's going to take a while for the hydrangeas to fill up a tablet. So our first step here to get this to work is to go down here where it's filling up, which is this one here, and disabling it. So we just take you off and Um, you off. You should now stop working. Oh, ah, I'm going to have to remove the sparks. And I'll have to pick this up with a tablet or my ring when my ring has a little bit of space. Let's do that. go. All right, you are now disabled, which means mana should be collecting here. Yep. Now I have, we, we, there's no way to know when this will work because <laughs> this is going to take a while at this setup, but we're going to do that for the end of flames next. And yeah. This will take a bit. Endoflames won't take nearly as long. And then we'll need to do the Rosa and the Thermalily. So we have a few more setups to do. <laughs> There's the... Mm. It's just exception and server tick loop. That's the constant crash I get. And it says points to force relays being the problem. All right. Vanilla fix is turned off. 
Um, what Lucid as well as the Batania help channel said was that often vanilla fix is catching a problem that isn't actually a problem and that's what's causing the crash is that vanilla fix says oh this is a problem and stops and causes the think game to stop when it actually isn't really a problem um force relays aren't exactly fantastic blocks to begin with specifically from what i heard in batania this method of using them, which is a perfectly usable method, but the moving the force relay moves another block is um, magic that Minecraft sometimes gets confused about. <laughs> and I am using it here and over there. The other force relays that I have don't move blocks, and so those are likely not the ones that are causing the problem. It's one of the ones that is moving blocks elsewhere that is potentially causing the problem, is what they said. But Vanilla Fix catches a n uh, not really a problem and makes it a problem in a lot of cases. So both Lucid and Batania said just deactivate Vanilla Fix and see if that fixes my problem. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're, we're gonna see here if that works all right so do i really want to chuck my greater band of mana <laughs> into this pool and hope that i don't lose it <laughs> oh i broke it of course i did because you know why would i remember that there was <laughs> Here is where I want it. Not the oh the one up top you're you're absolutely right. The one that has the re mm, recessive spark on it. This one. That I feel a little safer throwing things into. See if it works. Here's a question. Do I have it set to output? Now I do. <laughs> All right, so our ring is probably almost empty. Nope, it's still halfway to go. All right. Oh, okay, so the light's on. It should have done something. Did it? I do not see a tablet. And it's continually requesting a tablet. Oh, dang it! <laughs> now we have a lot of tablets. <laughs> uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's go back up here with these. And hope that some of these empty because I think I used up every single tablet um, to do that. Are you empty? Okay, you all look empty. Yep, you all matched. Uh, still got a ways to go. 
but it won't take too much longer. I know that fixing the container was all I needed to do, but I want to see this function just because I'm really good at breaking things. All right, it is ready to request. So in the next couple of seconds, it requested. Now with bellows, this will go a lot faster <laughs> to be picked up. So remind me again, bellows. Bellows are leather, runes of air, and some living wood slabs. Leather. It living wood plank slabs, it's just living wood slabs. Okay. Go through the hole. All right, it appears to, oh, I actually got a crash, a full crash this time. Thankfully, Floromancer is a lightweight pack that I can restart really quickly. It'll probably be easier to design around it. While I thought it was really cool to do, have the moving force relays, and it still is. Um, yeah, I might have to, because that is definitely frustrating. But we can officially say this works. There are two full mana tablets in here. Oh, it just crashed again. Do not want to get that again. That's why it hurt. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've heard that your first dose can be a doozy if you've had COVID. So, yep. I'm hoping, I, that would be lovely if my second shot is easier. But I have a friend who had COVID twice before her vaccine and the second shot still laid her low for three days. So, yeah. All right, we're okay for now, I guess. That is number one. Oh, I need, went down there to put the bellows. Bellows. Okay. Bellows. Yay. There is a lot of variability in the reactions and they do monitor you. Um, you sign up for a um, vaccine check via text or website and every day after from the date of your vaccine until you report that you feel fine you have a check-in every day and they just want to know how you're feeling I'm assuming they're not only using it for that purpose but because they were unable to do any long-term testing this is out for emergency use you know it's not approved by the FDA so they're probably using this also as testing <laughs> So, yeah, um, I will be very happy once I am fully vaccinated and I can feel comfortable being around people because that is actually still a very big thing for me. I'm really nervous. Fluffy, none of them are approved by the FDA. Absolutely none of them. There are no COVID vaccines approved by the FDA. They're all out for emergency use ex approval. That's it's emergency use. It's not approved.
because they've not been through a long enough trial period to be approved by the FDA. Um, the other countries have different approval processes. Right, I, I've heard about the AstraZeneca one. I've heard that it's kind of been going back and forth. So, yeah. Um, you, let's put you in there. We need some more supplies to do the next one. And I really would like to get these taken care of. Uh, we're gonna do the end of flames next. So let's put down our boxes here. We need a couple of comparators. We need a repeater. We, we just need, we need stuff. So let's grab you and oof. I need to turn my orchid back on. <laughs> Um, I need sticks. Let's just do 16. I need stone. I don't have any over here. All right. Repeaters first. And thank you, Quark, for this recipe. We'll do eight of those. And then we need to do um I need quartz. Dang it. I'm pretty certain I'm practically out of quartz. We're gonna need to do. Why are you missing? Oh, I bet you were, you're the block craftery blo blocks. They're all gone. I'll need to redo them. You had a similar, see, that's why I need to redo them. Oh, you had a similar bug, didn't you, Suri? Where your block craftery blocks went wonky. These are the ones that had glowstone dust on them to light up. So I will need to fix that. Mm, yeah, the dispensers thing for Quark, yep. Yep, that's really, that's what's going on there. I just need to redo them. But I need glowstone to do that, and I have 26 glowstone blocks. I really do need to make that catalyst. Um, or go collecting stuff in the nether again. Do I, I have everything to make it would make my life a lot easier. And I have the mana, so it's not like I'm in a mana deficit. Um, I, oh my goodness, you're right, I do. Of course. It's raining. I have 10 stacks over here. <laughs> All right, so step one is two of these, which I don't have the cobble on me for. One, two, and I need a mana pearl, which I'm pretty certain I have somewhere. Yep, <laughs> trade you. Um, two gold. Ugh. Yeah, you must have missed that Danville. It, it's uh, Diamond Anvil. It's the um, force relays that move blocks. I'm. That's. Yeah, when it's feeding time and it's constant. Mm hmm. Yep. Alright, so I need Elementium and Pixie Dust. So I mean I suppose I could go I could turn them off. Cause it's these. These here that are constantly moving. But 
pretty soon I'll have to figure out a different way to do this. I wanted to be nice and clean, but I think I might just have to do a torch tower. Remind me again for the torch tower. Um, I can just have it come off of this block and have a torch on an angle to it and then have the torch tower go up or does it need to be a piece of dust next to the this one yeah someone remind me <laughs> someone remind me and we will we'll get rid of that and that'll help reduce the amount of crashes I think because that'll be the only moving force relay we have then you can have the torch on the block with the pressure weight okay and then have a torch to have up have it go up I, I have so much crap in my inventory at the moment uh, we were headed over here oh I need I need to do you first Now we can dupe stuff. Fantastic. <laughs> All that worry for glowstone when I found 10 stacks of it, but still now I can dupe stuff. So that will be helpful for this. Um, 